The same nigga that was with Nip, that he got killed. You know, he was with his homie that day in the parking lot. And the nigga that ran away, like took off fast as hell, that was Rampa. I know he got a lot of grief for running away. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody get the blowing at you and that nigga run off on you. The nigga like me gonna look at you like, damn, that's not honorable. Save him, do something, nigga. I know he was going through a lot in LA with real niggas on his ass about that. And they missed the part where he really did that shit in Chicago. And like they had one security, they was on the tour. He hunted dollar tape tour shit. At the concert, Sean, it was fucking 100 Mexicans with colorful Crenshaw shirts on on the south side of Chicago. I'm already like, man, what's, like, what's to this? We went backstage, Nip like, man, hey, keep y'all head up, because, you know, some shit went on back home. He did, now so I can say it. The 60s or whatever, they had robbed the motherfucking cartel for like 300 keys of heroin. Mm. And they know he traveling and this and that, so he was an easy target. They was going to kill him to hurt the 60s type shit. Wow. This is a Say Cheese exclusive right yeah, here. Yeah, that's, that's why they was going to kill Nip. Nip, they so, had nothing to do with that or nothing. Like, he was telling me, he's like, I don't got nothing to do with that, but the homies back home, they did some shit, so Mexicans was at war with any nigga from around there. They caught you with a white t-shirt on, they was killing you type shit in LA. You know, I, we got a big Mexican president too in Chicago, Humble Park and all that. They real, they monsters too. So I guess they got the kite to go in here and do them. They tried to do them. Mind you, they got a nigga like goofy ass security with him, like on some Dewberry shit. Like your boy Charles the White homie Dewberry that think he can whoop shit. I swear to God, listen, they had a nigga like that with him from LA. Like, man, all right, I got the gun on me. I'm big as hell. I'm gonna knock a nigga out. Big, slow, dumb ass nigga. I swear to God, and my nigga Shorty Six, we pulling off. We got sticks on him. We got mouse and everything. We, we just sent shot in the back. Man, Shorty, we chilling. We done got drunk all night. We done stayed backstage for two hours. When we, done, oh, we done did some dumb shit. Cause it's like, nigga, go get out. He was having so much fun with us. It's like, he felt like he thought, I feel like I'm back in the hood. We was kicking it. He didn't want to leave. His tour bus in the alley back there behind Reggie's on 22nd. So we out of there. He get on the tour bus, right? So in our rear view, we see the colorful shirt, Sean, the Crenshaw nigga. We see him. They run into the bus. We, oh, throw the car in reverse. Like, what the fuck? Vice is on everybody. It's six motherfucking Mexicans. Little niggas. They not big and no big goons. But like I say, like a Dewberry ass nigga standing there trying to talk tough to him. Man, the littlest Mexican, I swear to Jesus Christ, ask Ron Pot this. Get in touch with the nigga Ron Pot so he can verify everything I'm saying about this night. Man, knock this big goofy ass straight out on some Chicago shit. Bah! Little nigga. Pack his ass out. He fall out. Man, he had on big glasses. Glasses and it's ice outside. 